All right, hey, Shalom. Hey, first and foremost, I'm giving all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors on to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone that do rule exceptionally well. And also, uh, Shalom, citations, mercy, and blessings to all you sincere brothers out there pushing this word with truth and with faith. Uh, my name is Tabawa uh, Amat of Great Millstone Northwest. Um, I want to get into this uh, this topic of, um, of brainwashing, all right, because people act as if, uh, see, the thing about this world is they take things and they, they, they demonize things that are actually good, all right, and the things that are not good, uh, that's what they, they set as um, as good, man. You know, this world is completely, completely upside down, man. So when you come into something like the truth, all right, and uh, it, it, it sparks you to, to really, you know what I'm saying, hey, the most high puts that spirit on you to really you know, drop everything you got going on in the world to pursue after this truth. You know, people like to say, people that knew you uh, beforehand would like to say that, oh, you've been brainwashed. Oh, you've, um, you know what I'm saying? You're in some type of cult. You're in some, which if you look at the definition of either of those words, just like I got brainwashing uh, pulled up here. And this is from a uh, dictionary, the free dictionary.com, the definition here. You know, if you look at the, the definition and if you was to actually cycle that through the scriptures, you would understand that is really not even a problem, man. It's really not even um, uh, anything that's a, a negative mark, all right, as the world uh, would try to say, you know what I'm saying? The, the world always tries to put uh, uh, things that are th things that are actually bad for you as good, all right? Um, they, they call it uh, good for evil and evil for good, all right? As a matter of fact, um, that scripture is, uh, describe that real quick. The good for evil, evil for good. This is um, the book of Isaiah, chapter 5, uh, verse uh, 20. It says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, and put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. And that's the exact type of thing that we see uh, here in, in this day and age, man, with the society that we live in, we're, we're, this is exactly the, the thing that we're, we're facing. All right. We're facing, we're facing it down every single day where people are calling things that are absolutely evil, absolutely wicked, uh, completely against the scriptures, you know, and these will be people that are so-called God fearing people, man, so-called Christians, so-called, uh, uh, you know, uh, people that actually believe, uh, so-called, so they believe in the Lord and these will be the same people. That's sitting here doing this, man, putting the, the evil good, uh, calling evil good and saying that good is evil, man. All right. Saying that being brainwashed for the truth's sake. All right. Is, is something that's negative, man. All right. Because you change your ways because you don't want to eat pork no more, you know, because you don't you don't you don't uh, uh, condemn uh, smoking with the cigarettes no more. You know what I'm saying? Because because you don't want to you don't want to hang out and do 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 your thug thing no more, you know. So this is um again from the free dictionary uh, dot com brainwashing. All right, it says any systematic effort aimed at installing certain attitudes and beliefs in persons against their will, usually beliefs in conflict with their prior beliefs and knowledge. It initially refers to uh, political indoctrination or prisoners of war and political prisoners. All right. Um, that's what it says it initially refers to, but hey, brothers, that's been in this thing for any amount of time. You already understand that, hey, people will, will throw this in your face all the time, saying that you're brainwashed, man, like your your family or whatever. And the reason why is mainly because it says it usually uh, usually beliefs in conflict with their prior beliefs. All right, prior to knowing the truth, you you didn't know no better, man. So you was you was doing all kind of manners of whatever the hell, right? And then you come into this truth, you find out about your Hawashai, and you change everything, man. All right? You change the, you change the very way you walk, man. You may have used to have some type of a, a so-called gangster walk, man. You know, where you, you walked with a limp on purpose, trying to look hard. And then you come into this truth, and you, hey, you forget all that, man. All right? And you stand up proper, and you, you know what I'm saying? You just handle your business like a man. All right? You see? And, and people, people see things like that. And they, they, they act as if it's something that's just terrible, man. They act as if it's something wrong. And even in this definition, a couple of scriptures already pop into my mind uh, right then and there, man. All right? Because you're supposed to be a new creature. After after coming to this truth, after finding out about this uh, this truth, after hearing that voice in your ear saying this is the way and walk in it, you're supposed to become a new creature, man. All right? Uh, let's grab 
real quick let's go to the new testament man all right because we got a couple of scriptures we need to grab here first let's go to uh uh second corinthians the fifth chapter all right uh verse 17 okay it says um it says uh, therefore, if any man be in Yahweh Shai, if he be in Mashiach, the word there is Christ, which in Hebrew, that's really uh, Mashiach, all right? Because Christ, the way they use Christ nowadays is more on, on terms with an idol than it is for our Lord and Savior, okay? It says, uh, therefore, which Christ basically just means anointed, all right? It says, therefore, if any man be in uh, Mashiach, meaning Yahweh Shai, Okay, our Lord and Savior of the Israelites, that is. It says, he is a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. And all things are of the Heavenly Father, who have reconciled us to himself by Yahweh Shai Mashiach, and have given to us the ministry of reconciliation, man. All right? So, if you, you, you're supposed to be a new creature, man. Coming into this truth, yeah, you're supposed to be a new creature. A new creature isn't going to still be behaving like the old creature was, man. All right. It says old things are passed away. So, of course, you're going to, you know, what I'm saying you're going to have uh, beliefs that's that's different. Going back to that clinical definition of brainwashing. All right. It says uh, uh, usually beliefs in conflict with their prior beliefs and knowledge. All right. Of course, you're going to have some beliefs. As you're going to have some things that's, that's different from your prior ways because you've become an actual new creature, man. All right. You've become a new creature. It said that you're doing this type of stuff against your will, which, hey, we, we got to go out there and we got to preach, man. All right. You know, they be like, oh, well, you ain't never used to you ain't never used to just go into the streets and and, uh, you know, stand out there for hours upon hours every week and blah, blah, blah. Right. I mean, I, I, I personally haven't heard that complaint, but I'm pretty sure. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not outside the realm of saying that a brother might have to, you know, hear that from somebody's trap. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, we go out there and preach, man. The scriptures tell us, woe unto us if we preach not the gospel, man. Okay? Woe unto us if we preach not the gospel. All right? That's found in uh, 1 Corinthians, the ninth chapter, man. So, of course, everything becomes new for us. All right? Our whole mannerisms change. Everything uh, uh, is, is switched up, man. I'm going to jump up here to verse 11. All right? Because what we go out there and do when we go out there and preach is we persuade men. All right. Second uh, Corinthians chapter five, verse 11 says, knowing, therefore, the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Uh, but we are made manifest unto the heavenly father. And I trust also are made manifest in your consciousness. So we know the terror of the Lord. We know what's 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 to be expected, man. All right. We understand that hey, the, that the heavenly father is not playing around. So, yeah, we go out there and we persuade men. All right. And with us persuading men, we can't be hypocrites. We got to follow and, and practice exactly what it is that we preach, man. All right. It says it says a systematic effort aimed at installing certain attitudes and beliefs and persons against their will. All right. So what we go out there and do is we go and we try to persuade men and it may be against their will. But guess what? If we can get the point across that it's not about their will, hey, we can we can we can possibly save a soul, man. All right, because realistically, it's not about your will, man. It's not about my will. It's not about Apostle Tahar's will. It's not about your camp leader's will. It's not about nothing, man. It's about the will of the Heavenly Father. That's it, man, that good and perfect will. What's that scripture? That's uh, Romans, the 12th chapter. All right. Romans, the 12th chapter, speaks about a good and perfect will of the Heavenly Father, man. Because that's real, realistically uh, everything that, that, that it, it really centers around, man. Romans, chapter 12. All right. It says, uh, this is Romans chapter 12, starting at verse 1. It says, I, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Heavenly Father, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Heavenly Father, which is your reasonable service. Which, brothers, that's in Great Millstone, that's exactly what we do, man. That's, that's, that is our requirement, is to present ourselves as, as living sacrifices, man. To be doing videos, all right? To go out there in the highways and the byways and to preach this word. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to pull that scripture that woe unto me if I preach not the gospel. I'm going to have to pull it, man. All right? But uh, let me finish this real quick. All right? Because this is our reasonable service. This is what, this is what we should be able to do, especially with knowing how far off we've gone from following the ways of the Heavenly Father, man. All right, if you're sincere about inheriting the kingdom of heaven, then 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 you ain't going to allow anything to, to be uh, snatched away from you, man. All right, this is verse 2. It says, and be not conformed to this world. See, this world will tell you that being brainwashed for Yahweh by Shem Shai is a bad thing, man. All right, it says, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing, by the renewing of your mind. How are you going to re renew your mind if you're holding on to the old things, man? 
going back to that clinical uh that clinical definition all right usually beliefs in conflict with their prior beliefs hey you damn right the beliefs of the truth is in conflicts with the beliefs that you grew up with here in babylon the great man or wherever else you you know because there may be brothers in a different country wherever you grew up guess what where how, however you was growing up it wasn't according to the right way it wasn't according to the scriptures all right it wasn't according to what we had what we know now as as israelite men okay it wasn't according to the to uh, actual faith in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, all right. So it's going to be uh, in conflict with your prior beliefs, man. All right. I used to think it was okay to be smoking. I used to think it was okay to you know just to do whatever, man, to steal shit from people. All right. I used to think it was okay to 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 you know what I'm saying be the hella disrespectful. All right. To behave like an animal, basically, you know. Going to the club, getting getting all kind of rowdy, and you know what I'm saying. I used to think all that was okay, man. All right, that was according that. Oh, and I really thought that. You know what I'm saying. I really thought that. You know, you come into the truth, and 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 your mind is renewed, man, by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove that which is. Uh, I'm sorry, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the heavenly Father, man. So it's about the will that's given. That it's about the heavenly Father's will, man. It's not about your own. This this definition want to say uh, that it, it, you know, what I'm saying it's it's uh, installing certain attitudes and beliefs in persons against their will. It's not about your goddamn will, man. All right, it's not about your will. Let me tell you something, man. I'm I'm just just being straight up and honest. Hey, the truth found me. All right, I wasn't going around searching. I was kind of already in that mindset of like, you know what, this this world's kind of stupid. You know, I was I was in a, I was really in a, in a in a play it play it by ear kind of mindset, man. And guess what? I got presented with this truth, all right. And I clung on to it, and I didn't have a choice, man. All right. It was, it was just as if you was to get swept away uh, by a big old tidal wave. You don't got no choice, man. Your will may be to stand there flat on the ground, and that tidal wave just swoops your ass off, man. You know, that's how the truth was for me, man. It just it just it just it, it swept me away. There was nothing I can do. All right. Before I knew it, I was I was fully into it, man. Everything that was being presented to me about this truth, it was making sense out of everything in the world. This is what makes the most sense, man. All right. So it, it may be against your will, but it's not about your will, man. It's about that good and perfect and acceptable will of the heavenly father, man. All right. It's about it's about the will of the heavenly father. So, hey, when people come up talking about, oh, you're brainwashed or, oh, you're in a cult, because a cult's another word. That's that's just one more word that you can go through and uh, uh, match it up with the scriptures and show that it really ain't nothing wrong with it, man. It's just these people constantly trying to 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 uh, 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 call dark, call the light darkness because they don't really know what the light is. All right. Because they're so far into the darkness. It's, it's just them. Uh, uh, presenting it that way, man. When realistically, there's nothing wrong. Hey, Lord willing, this message has been received. Lord willing, uh, this has been an edifying video, man. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and say shalom until the next time. Shalom.